Taxonomy is the science of defining groups of biological organisms on the basis of shared characteristics and giving names to those groups. Organisms are grouped together into taxa and given a taxonomic rank. Groups of a given rank can be aggregated to form a supergroup of higher rank and thus create a taxonomic hierarchy. The Swedish botanist Carolus Linnaeus is regarded as the father of taxonomy, as he developed a system known as Linnaean classification for categorization of organisms and binomial nomenclature for naming organisms. With the advent of such fields of study as phylogenetics, cladistics, and systematics, the Linnaean system has progressed to a system of modern biological classification based on the evolutionary relationships between organisms, both living and extinct. An example of a modern classification is the one published in 2009 by the Angiosperm Phylogeny Group for all living flowering plant families. Definition The exact definition of taxonomy varies from source to source, but the core of the discipline remains, the conception, naming, and classification of organism groups. The exact relationship of systematics and classification to taxonomy also varies because the usage of the terms in biology originated independently. As points of reference, recent definitions of taxonomy are presented below, theory and practice of grouping individuals into species, arranging species into larger groups, and giving those groups names, thus producing a classification. A field of science that encompasses description, identification, nomenclature, and classification. The science of classification, in biology the arrangement of organisms into a classification. The science of classification as applied to living organisms, including study of means of formation of species, etc. The analysis of an organism's characteristics for the purpose of classification. Systematic studies phylogeny to provide a pattern that can be translated into the classification and names of the more inclusive field of taxonomy. The varied definitions either place taxonomy as a sub-area of systematics, invert that relationship, or appear to consider the two terms synonymous. There is some disagreement as to whether biological nomenclature is considered a part of taxonomy, or a part of systematics outside taxonomy. For example, the last definition is paired with the following definition of systematics that places nomenclature outside taxonomy, systematics the study of the identification, taxonomy and nomenclature of organisms, including the classification of living things with regard to their natural relationships and the study of variation and the evolution of taxa. Alpha taxonomy The term alpha taxonomy is primarily used today to refer to the discipline of finding, describing, and naming taxa, particularly species. In earlier literature, the term had a different meaning, referring to morphological taxonomy, and the products of research through the end of the 19th century. William Bertram Terrell introduced the term alpha taxonomy in a series of papers published in 1935 and 1937 in which he discussed the philosophy and possible future directions of the discipline of taxonomy. A euro there is an increasing desire amongst taxonomists to consider their problems from wider viewpoints, to investigate the possibilities of closer cooperation with their cytological, ecological and genetical colleagues and to acknowledge that some revision or expansion, perhaps of a drastic nature, of their aims and methods may be desirable. A euro Terrell has suggested that while accepting the older and valuable taxonomy, based on structure, and conveniently designated alpha, it is possible to glimpse a far distant taxonomy built up on as wide a basis of morphological and physiological facts as possible, and one in which place is found. For all observational and experimental data relating, even if indirectly, to the constitution, subdivision, origin and behavior of species and other taxonomic groups. Ideals can, it may be said, never be completely realized. They have however, a great value of acting as permanent stimulants, and if we have some, even vague, ideal of an omega taxonomy we may progress a little way down the Greek alphabet. Some of us please ourselves by thinking we are now groping in a beta taxonomy. Terrell thus explicitly excludes from alpha taxonomy various areas of study that he includes within taxonomy as a whole, such as ecology, physiology, genetics, and cytology. He further excludes phylogenetic reconstruction from alpha taxonomy. Later authors have used the term in a different sense, to
to mean the delimitation of species, using whatever investigative techniques are available, and including sophisticated computational or laboratory techniques. History of taxonomy, prelinearian taxonomy, early taxonomists, taxonomy has been called the world's oldest profession, and naming and classifying our surroundings has likely been taking place as long as mankind has been able to communicate. It would always have been important to know the names of poisonous and edible plants and animals in order to communicate this information to other members of the family or group. Medicinal plant illustrations show up in Egyptian wall paintings from c. 1500 BC. The paintings clearly show that these societies valued and communicated the uses of different species, and therefore had a basic taxonomy in place. Aristotle to Pliny the Elder, historical records show that informally classifying organisms took place at least back to the days of Aristotle, who was the first to begin to classify all living things. Some of the terms he gave to animals, such as invertebrates, and vertebrates are still commonly used today. His student Theophrastus carried on this tradition, and wrote a classification of some 500 plants called Historia Plintrum. Again, several plant groups currently still recognized can be traced back to Theophrastus, such as Cornus, Crocus, and Narcissus. Your next major turn of the millennial era taxonomist came in the form of Pliny the Elder. His elaborate 160 volume work Naturalis Historia described many plants, and even gave many of them Latin binomial names. Other prelinearian taxonomists, it was not until c. 1500 years later that taxonomic works became ambitious enough to replace the ancient texts. This is often credited to the development of sophisticated optic lenses, which allowed for the morphology of organisms to be studied in much greater detail. One of the earliest authors to take advantage of this leap in technology was Andrea C. Silpino, who is often referred to as the first taxonomist. His magnum opus De Plantis came out in 1583, and described over 1500 plant species. Two large plant families that he first recognized are still in use today, the Asteraceae and Brassicaceae. Then in the 17th century John Ray wrote many important taxonomic works. Arguably his greatest accomplishment was Methodus Plintrum Nova, where he published over 18,000 plant species. At the time his classifications were perhaps the most complex yet produced by any taxonomist, as he based his taxa on many combined characters. The next major taxonomic works were produced by Joseph Pitt and de Tournefort. His work from 1700, Institutions Re Herberiae included over 9,000 species in 698 genera, and directly influenced Linnaeus as it was the text he used as a young student. The Linnaean Era The Swedish botanist Carl Linnaeus ushered in a new era of taxonomy. With his major works Systema Naturae first edition in 1735, Species Plintrum in 1753, and Systema Naturae tenth edition, he revolutionized modern taxonomy. His works implemented a standardized binomial naming system for animal and plant species, which proved to be an elegant solution to a chaotic and disorganized taxonomic literature. As a result the Linnaean system was born, and is still used in essentially the same way today as it was in the 18th century. Currently, plant and animal taxonomists regard Linnaeus work as the starting point for valid names. Names published before these dates are referred to as pre-Linnaean, are not considered valid. Even taxonomic names published by Linnaeus himself before these dates are considered pre linnaean The word taxonomy was introduced in 1813 by Candle, in his The Copyright Area Copyright La Copyright Mentaire de la Botanique. Phylogenetics and Cladistics. See full articles at Phylogenetics and Cladistics. Today, Traditional rank-based biological classifications persist in a structure largely unchanged since the 1700s. However, how the relationships of these taxa are investigated has changed drastically in recent decades. It is now common for biologists to devise a classification based on the results of phylogenetic analysis using DNA sequence data, and taxa were typically required to be clads. Although phylogenetics itself is fundamental to modern-day systematics, its use for the description of new taxa, and for their placement within a classification scheme, is not required. 
Application Biological taxonomy is a subdiscipline of biology, and is generally practiced by biologists known as taxonomists, though enthusiastic naturalists are also frequently involved in the publication of new taxa. The work carried out by taxonomists is crucial for the understanding of biology in general. Two fields of applied biology in which taxonomic work is of fundamental importance are the study of biodiversity and conservation. Without a working classification of the organisms in any given area, estimating the amount of diversity present is unrealistic, making informed conservation decisions impossible. As conservation becomes ever more politically important, taxonomic work impacts not only the scientific community, but society as a whole. Classifying organisms, biological classification is a critical component of the taxonomic process. As a result, it informs the user as to what the relatives of the taxon are hypothesized to be. Biological classification uses taxonomic ranks, including, among others, domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Taxonomic descriptions the definition of a taxon is encapsulated by its description and or its diagnosis. There are no set rules governing the definition of taxa, but the naming and publication of new taxa is governed by sets of rules. In zoology, the nomenclature for the more commonly used ranks, is regulated by the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature. In the fields of botany, phycology, and mycology, the naming of taxa is governed by the International Code of Nomenclature for algae, fungi, and plants. The initial description of a taxon involves five main requirements. The taxon must be given a name based on the 26 letters in the Latin alphabet. The name must be unique. The description must be based on at least one name-bearing type specimen. It should include statements about appropriate attributes to either describe the taxon, and or differentiate it from other taxa. Both codes deliberately separate defining the content of a taxon from defining its name. These first four requirements must be published in a work that is obtainable in numerous identical copies, as a permanent scientific record. However, often much more information is included, like the geographic range of the taxon, ecological notes, chemistry, behavior, etc. How researchers arrive at their taxa varies. Depending on the available data, and resources, methods vary from simple quantitative or qualitative comparisons of striking features, to elaborate computer analyses of large amounts of DNA sequence data. Phonetics In phonetics, also known as taximetrics, organisms are classified based on overall similarity, regardless of their phylogeny or evolutionary relationships. It results in a measure of evolutionary distance between taxa. Phonetic methods have become relatively rare in modern times, largely superseded by cladistic analyses, as phonetic methods do not distinguish plesiomorphic from apomorphic traits. However, certain phonetic methods, such as neighbor joining, have found their way into cladistics, as a reasonable approximation of phylogeny when more advanced methods are too computationally expensive. Databases, modern taxonomy uses database technologies to search and catalog classifications and their documentation. While there is no commonly used database, there are comprehensive databases such as the Catalogue of Life, which attempts to list every documented species. The catalogue listed 1.4 million species for all kingdoms as of May 2012, claiming coverage of more than 74% of the estimated 1.9 million species known to modern science. See also, Barcode of Life, Biological Classification, Evolutionary Taxonomy, Genotypes, Glossary of Scientific Naming, Identification, Incertisedus, Nomenclature, Phylogenetics, Species Description, Species Problem, Systematics, Taxonomy, Type, Notes. References External links, What is Taxonomy? At the Natural History Museum London, What is Taxonomy? At the European Distributed Institute of Taxonomy, taxonomy-related articles at The Guardian, taxonomy at NCBI The National Centre for Biotechnology Information, taxonomy at Uniprot The Universal Protein Resource, ITIS The Integrated Taxonomic Information System, 
GTI the Global Taxonomic Initiative, TRIN the Taxonomy Research and Information Network, CTF the Consortium of European Taxonomic Facilities, Wikispecies Free Species Directory.